And welcome back to VMworld Live. I'm John Troyer. We're here live in Copenhagen, VMworld 2010. My next guest is Dimitar Hristov. Dim Hi, nice Hi. to meet you. And thanks for coming on the show. Dimitar is part of the PowerShell team um, that actually works for VMware out of Bulgaria, right? Yes, that's yeah. right. So we are big fans in the social media sphere. We are big fans of PowerCLI. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> we like to. We we like. Uh, I think some of the the community the, the community around PowerCLI and all the scripts and commandlets that have been written, I think, are some of the most powerful examples. Oh yes, uh, that is that is one of our uh, strongest uh, points. Uh, we have a very active community, and uh, for all those persons that are new to PowerCLI that are just starting up. The community is uh, the best place to learn all the all the stuff, uh, to talk about uh, PowerCLI with other users, uh, to gain more experience, to ask their questions, uh, get uh, ready scripts, uh, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, they've definitely extended the power of, of the, the hooks that we that VMware provided. The community Linux has extended. Uh, you can do almost anything with, with PowerCLI. Oh CLI. yes, uh, you can. You can automate uh, the entire API. Uh, uh, the entire VMware infrastructure, uh, from deploying virtual machines, configuring QSX hosts, uh, creating reports, PowerCLI is a very powerful tool. And so, so now we just with new uh, with vSphere, uh, with the new release of vSphere, there's also a new release of, of PowerCLI. Yes, uh, we are trying to keep uh, PowerCLI up to date and trying to make releases uh, every six months, uh, so new features uh, get in. Uh, there are performance improvements uh, very often, and uh, we, really, we really try to reach out to our customers, uh, see what their needs are, and include them in the future releases. So what are some of the new features in the latest release? Well, uh, two of the most important features are uh, the addition of uh, two new, one new commandlet, new power CO, uh, new, uh, sorry, new VI property commandlet, which uh, allows you to extend the current objects that are returned by uh, all the other commandlets. This is a very powerful feature, especially for people that uh, like to create reports. You can, they can just uh, append any data they need and display it in a tabular format or CSV or whatever. The other thing is uh, the addition of uh, one new property to all the objects, which is uh, called extension data. And that object represents uh, the API objects uh, that resides on the vCenter server. Okay. This object uh, has uh, a lot more information than the objects we provide. So you can uh, access uh, pretty much every everything from that object. Yeah, so the, the interesting thing, I think, uh, one of the interesting things about PowerCLI is, is I'm a scripter from way back, and you know, the, I've, I've, I've seen and used the Perl toolkit and things like that. And, and not that there's a very much of a difference in language between, say, Perl and PowerShell, but the design of the API in PowerCLI oh, yes. was at a high level of abstraction that, that made simple com commands very simple. When you, sh when you show a, a person for the first time a get VM command or to show how easy it is yes, to list the VMs in their he data really center. really understands it. Uh, it's so simple, it looks, you know, it's one line and, and, and all of a sudden the light bulb turns on. So it's very easy to, to get started. Yes, uh, the idea behind PowerCOI is uh, to make an automation tool dedicated to administrators. We know that uh, regular administrators are not programmers. Uh, they don't know how to use a programming language. So we needed to make a tool that's uh, easy to use uh, for them. So uh, there came the verb noun uh, model, uh, which uh, is defined in PowerShell. We liked it a lot and decided to build, that, build upon that. Uh, that way, any administrator that reads a PowerCY script can immediately understand what it does, because it's uh, close to reading text. Right, but at the same time, the API doesn't hide the details. And in fact, some of the, some of the things you just talked about in the enhancements were uh, tools that in fact let the power users go even deeper into the system yes. and, and use even in more of the hidden knobs of, the, of your, of your vCenter. Yes, uh, since we are building uh, a new API, a new commands, uh, we can't expose everything that uh, vSphere allows you to do. 
so we needed to provide our users with a way to do everything. Well, uh, that way, uh, with exposing uh, this uh, detailed information, more advanced users can develop scripts, uh, which they can share with the more novice users. Yeah, in fact, um, that's what Alan, actually right now, Alan and Luke are having a, a very a packed session on Power CLI here at the yeah, show. Yeah, I, they I had heard a, it was crowded. There. They had three crowded sessions in San Francisco, and I think now they're going to have two crowded se sessions now. Oh, yes. And even they were saying that, that there probably needs to be a, a, an advanced and a beginner because it's one thing to see, okay, have your eyes open you know, for a beginning use, but then all of a sudden you start to talk about these advanced properties or defining port groups and uh, it, it, people who have not done it before and are not big scripters, they, they suddenly go, wait a minute, this is a little deep for me. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's why we're trying to keep things simple with commandlets and mm -hmm. uh, have a single entry point uh, to the entire API, which can be used by advanced yeah. developers. So for people to get started, let's see, there's the Power CLI community. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. there is uh, very rich online help. Uh, there are admin guides, uh, everything to get you started. There's, and then certainly, certainly if you were here at VMworld, you could go to uh, the You can the, go to the, the sessions. Power CLI sessions, you can go to the Power CLI booths, and you can take the Power CLI lab. Yeah, there is one book from Hal Rottenberg as well. <laughs> oh yes, uh, there are actually four books now available. Oh, well, okay. And a fifth one on, the, on its way. That's great. Uh, we, we, we actually have some props here today. We've oh, got... Yeah. Uh, so uh, now, how can somebody? Do you know? If, we're giving these away. Th this is when you finally. Uh, we're gonna, probably going to blow out the camera here, but when we finally do all of all of uh, uh, PowerShell, you get quite a. This is the poster that tells you what you need to know. So it's quite a deep system. Once you get to the full API, um, and Pablo's running around with stacks of these. So if you're at the show, you could grab one. I don't know if you, we can mail them to you or not. We'll have to find oh, out. Oh yes, uh, we have them on our blog available to download. So if you'd like, you can print them out. Cool. Uh, we also have these very nice uh, stickers. <laughs> well, where, what's the goal? I think we've talked a little bit about the goals of uh, Power CLI in general. One of the challenges it is Windows. Uh, it's a, it power. It comes from PowerShell, which is yes, a Windows, Windows technology. technology. Do we have plans to uh, extend this to other platforms, or how how are we addressing if you're a, if you're a Linux shop? Well, we uh, heard that uh, this model, the Burp Now model, is. Uh, really cool and the users really, really like it. So we are thinking about extending this model to other languages as well. Mm, that's uh, interesting. There is uh, currently no progress on this, but we are definitely thinking about it uh, for the future. Now, and because now VMware, uh, we have this stack now, that, and we're starting to work on the vFabric uh, cloud stack, Yes. Are you st are you is your team starting to interface more with the spring and the vfabric side of the house? Uh, our team currently isn't, uh, but other teams are. So we are trying to keep uh, in touch with those teams, uh, guide them through the process, uh, so that uh, they know how to create those commands to be very user friendly. Right, so that the apps can start to talk to the to the virtual infrastructure layer and vice versa. Yes. Oh, interesting. And anything else um, in terms of direction that you're working on for Power CLI coming up? Well, we are uh, constantly trying to bring up uh, new features, uh, make performance improvements. Uh, uh, now that uh, ESX, the classic ESX is going away and there's going to be only ESXi, uh, we are trying to make Power CLI the only solution that an administrator will need in order to manipulate its, uh, his ESXi. Hmm, right, yeah, no, it, it, you need to get, uh, you, and you can use, obviously, PowerShell uh, from a number of places. You can use it from the, the management appliance, um, you know, you can use it from the remote. There's a, there's a few different ways you can, you can configure to talk to ESXi. Yes, uh, but so, PowerCY is the easiest way. Yeah, great. Well, anything else, um, let's see, anything else that people should know if they're just getting started? Well, it's a free product that's, uh, best of all, they can download it for free. Uh, it's just five minutes uh, needed to set it up and start working. And VMware offers a training course uh, for uh, people that would like to become oh, that's professionals. Right. There, is, there, is a new pa there is a new training course. Yes. It is, it is a, not a free course. You do not have to a pay free, for it. but uh, it's a very nice course. And uh, you get not only the basics, but uh, you learn the more advanced stuff as well. And how long is that course? I think it was uh, two days. 
Two days, okay. Yes. And it is available, is it online and, and in person? Uh, yes, both online and yeah. in person. Definitely, I think if people are just getting their started, I mean, there's a number of free resources, but if you're really yes. serious about it and you're just getting started, it's definitely the course. That's the I've heard really go. good things about it. Yes, yeah. that's right. Well, Dimitar, I also have to admit, I am a Power CLI fan, and I, although I have a sign here, our other prop is, is I, I love Power CLI too. Oh, great. <laughs> so, Dimitar, thanks for coming on VMworld Live. Thanks. Have a nice day.